Fahrenheit 451 is a novel by Ray Bradbury. It was published in 1953 by Ballantine Books and was well received because the author is known for his good storytelling skills, enhanced by his poetic and nostalgic signature style. He is also known for books such as The Martian Chronicles and Dandelion Wine. Thanks to his combination of science fiction and social critiques, Ray Bradbury became a top mainstream writer whose works are popular to this day. If you need a detailed Fahrenheit 451 summary to help you ace the English test, look no further because our experts are here to help you analyze the themes, setting, historical forward slash cultural context, and much more, so please check out the next sections. Overview, the book tells the story of Guy Montag, a fireman whose role is to censor and burn books in his dystopian society, but he begins questioning society after a series of unfortunate events. In this futuristic society, people do not enjoy nature, think independently, have deep discussions, or spend time alone. However, Guy wants more, leading him to pursue knowledge that is against society's rules. For a more in-depth look, our Fahrenheit 451 book summary experts will explain the different sections of the book separately. Characters in Fahrenheit 451 The first thing to note when writing down a Fahrenheit 451 summary is noting the characters involved. The Fahrenheit 451 characters are 1. Guy Montag Guy Montag is a fireman who censors books by burning them. Over time, he develops a desire for meaning in his life in books and starts forming relationships with others, too. Mildred Montag, Mildred forward slash Millie is Guy's sickly and suicidal wife. She is small-minded and immature and refuses to connect with her husband even after her suicide attempt. Unlike Guy, she has no interest in connecting with others, 3. Captain BT, BT is Montag's captain and heads the fire department. He is well-educated but hates books and tries to convince Montag to hate books as well. 4. Clarice McClellan Clarice is the 17-year-old girl who ignites Montag's desire to experience life outside the confines placed in the dystopian society. Many consider her and her family strange since they enjoy activities like hiking and flowers. 5. Granger Granger is the leader of the hobo rebel group in the country that wants to preserve literature. Granger does this by memizing books, and the author states he is patient and smart. 6. Professor Faber, Faber is a former professor of English who keeps some books and seeks out more. He regrets not taking further action and considers himself a coward. 7. And Bowles and Clara Phelps, Anne and Clara are Mildred's friends who enjoy the emptiness of life and are anti-intellectual. Mrs. Phelps views children as a burden and has a poor relationship with her husband, who has gone off to war. Mrs. Bowles is a neglectful, abusive, and thrice-married single mother who brags about physically abusing her children. 8. Stone Man and Black, these are Montag's co-workers who enjoy their job, which is destructive to society, if you would like an in-depth analysis of other books, we have done other essays, such as our Holes book summary. The setting of Fahrenheit 451, in literature, setting refers to the time and place in which a story takes place. There are three types of settings, environment, place, and time. Whether it is implied or directly stated, each story has a setting. It could be the Middle Ages or deep space and is valuable as it helps set the mood and immerses the reader, thus adding to their experience. Fahrenheit 451 is based on a dystopian society somewhere near Chicago, although others estimate that the story is set in the central US. The events take place around the 2040s, after two atomic wars. Technology is highly advanced, denying humanity the opportunity to explore its purpose. As such, it is a gloomy and depressing place. If you are taking literature and face trouble identifying different settings in literary works, do not worry because we offer guides like our Othello summary. For help writing an analytical essay, do not hesitate to place your order today, and our Fahrenheit 451 book summary experts will help. The plot of Fahrenheit 451 To write a proper Fahrenheit 451 plot summary, you will need to understand the events in the three main parts of the novel. We have a Fahrenheit 451 Part 1 summary, Fahrenheit 451 Part 2 summary, and Fahrenheit 451 Part 3 summary. These are 1. Part I the hearth and the salamander, 
Guy Montag is a fireman who burns controversial books and the houses he finds them in. One night, he returns home from work and meets his new neighbor, Clarice. Her free spirit inspires him to question his role in their dystopian society and life. He finds his wife has attempted suicide by six overdosing on sleeping pills. He calls emergency help, and two nonchalant emergency personnel show up. They drain her blood and inject her with new blood, then leave to help another overdose patient. Montag hears his neighbors complain about their empty and hedonistic society, which adds to his stress. He later learns that Clarisse is in therapy since others call her behavior strange, but one day she goes missing. On a separate date, he is at work burning books at an old woman's house and steals one of the books. The woman refuses to leave and lights herself on fire, which triggers Montag. He returns home and finds out that Clarisse was killed by a speeding vehicle. He is upset that his wife did not mention this earlier, and he struggles to go back to sleep. He is also bothered by the likelihood of the mechanical hound. An eight-legged robot dog that helps the fireman hunt books. The next morning, Mildred wakes up and tries to attend to Montag but is distracted by the large TV, which they call a parlor wall. He ponders leaving his job, but Mildred worries about losing their possessions, especially their parlor wall. Captain BT pays Montag a visit and tells him how books lost their value, and people began to prefer television. Most authors began to dumb down books to appeal to shorter attention spans and technology allowed for the construction of non-inflammable buildings resulting in firemen becoming tools of censorship, which BT frames as them being society's peace of mind. Society framed books as depressing and confusing, thus leading to the bans. Mildred mentions the book Montag brought home, and BT warns him not to keep any books or that other firemen will burn them themselves. BT leaves, and Montag informs Mildred that he has several books, which they will read to check for their value despite her worrying. However, he promises that if they find no value, they will burn the books. This marks the end of Fahrenheit 451 Part 1 Summary, 2. Part 2, The Sieve and the Sand, in this section, Fahrenheit 451 Part 2 Summary, Mildred refuses to read the books, but Montag rants about the unfortunate events that have been plaguing them over the past few weeks. Mrs. Bowles calls to ask Mildred if they can watch TV that night, and Montag gives up on convincing her. He goes to visit Faber and brings the Bible he stole from the old lady's house. Faber is afraid to help, but Montag rips some pages from the Bible, and Faber agrees to help by communicating through an earpiece. Montag heads back home and tries to engage with the women but fails to do so. Mildred is upset by his behavior and tries to commit suicide again. He hides his books in the backyard and goes to the firehouse, where he gives BT a book to make it seem like he has changed his mind about books. After a brief discussion, the alarm goes off, but this time they are headed to Montag's house. 3. Part 3. Burning Bright, BT asks Montag to burn his house with a flamethrower, as opposed to the salamander. Montag finds that his wife and her friends reported him. Mildred walks out of the house and leaves, upset that she lost the TV. Montag then burns the house, but BT discovers his earpiece. Montag burns BT and knocks out his fellow fireman. He rationalizes BT's death and concludes that BT wanted to die hence handing him the weapon. As he escapes, he also destroys the mechanical hound. He rushes to Faber's house, who tells him to go to the countryside where exiled book lovers reside. Montag also learns that another hound is tracking him, so he wipes his scent off items in the house. Faber states that he'll leave for St. Louis, where they agree to meet in the future. Montag goes down a river and finds the exiled group. Their leader, Granger, uses a portable TV to show him the broadcast. An innocent man is framed as Montag and killed. Granger asks Montag what he can offer the group, which has memoized books to help in case society collapses. Montag has memoized ecclesiasts and can remember more once the group unlocks his photographic memory. The book ends with the group seeing bombers destroy the city, and they head toward it to rebuild. Themes in Fahrenheit 451, 1. Censorship and oppression, in this society, people who read and store books are framed as criminals. Most people have low attention spans and are anti-intellectual and unpleasant because they have no access to books that would help them think. 
The lack of different ideas also promotes social cohesion, hence the government supports it, too. Technological progress, technology improves rapidly and is used for control. It is one of the most noticeable Fahrenheit 451 themes. For example, on page 54, BT explains that photography, film, and media helped promote social cohesion as they offered quick and easy entertainment. 3. Knowledge versus ignorance, Montag struggles with his role. Which is to subvert knowledge, while BT convinces him to continue burning books. The fireman's role is to promote ignorance and social equality by avoiding any controversy or thought. However, Montag's encounter with Clarisse leads him to seek knowledge. 4. Conformity, since their society is heavily censored, individuals are required to conform and remain ignorant. For example, Clarisse is sent to therapy for having different interests like hiking and nature. 5. Hedonism, society is full of mindless pleasures that distract the populace. An example is how the people walk around with the seashell radio, and Mildred is obsessed with her Pada family, the book also has other minor themes such as oppression, dissatisfaction, and many more, which you can note once you read the book. For help analyzing the themes, place your order with our Fahrenheit 451 summary experts. Symbols in Fahrenheit 451, there are many symbols used in the book. As per our Fahrenheit 451 symbols summary experts note that Guy Montag's name is symbolic of his position as an average citizen in society who conforms to the rules in place and does not question the authority figures. The names of other characters such as Faber are also symbolic, since faber Castell is a German stationery manufacturer, and Faber helps educate Guy by introducing him to new ideas, another symbol is blood. At one point, Guy feels controversial thoughts flowing through his blood. It represents repressed curiosity and a desire for the self. When Mildred attempts suicide, she receives a transfusion given by the electric-eyed snake machine. Bradbury comments that Mildred's insides are corrupted, meaning that she leads a meaningless and hedonistic life just like many others in their society. Motifs One motif used in the book is the use of paradoxes. At the start of The Hearth and the Salamander, the author notes that Montag's room is both not empty and indeed empty because while Mildred is present, she is not mentally present thus making it seem like Montag is alone there. This motif helps build up the theme of hedonism. Another motif is the use of religion, as the book has many religious references. In one scene, Faber asks Montag to forgive instead of being vengeful to society, since he was like them at one point. This contributes to the theme of oppression and conformity, Historical forward slash cultural context of Fahrenheit 451. Fahrenheit 451 was published in 1953, during the McCarthy era, when many were accused of disloyalty by supporting communist ideals that were destructive to America and subsequently ostracized. This is reflected in the novel, where the expression of one's own ideas leads to persecution from the state, thus helping us conclude that it is the context of Fahrenheit 451.